What's up YouTube, awesome yu gi here and today we got another profile on the national series and today we'll be profiling in sectors so you've already seen Evil Swarm, Mermel and Artifacts and sectors going to be the fourth deck and I'll probably round this series up with Zylvan but I might add in some, uh, some other contestants as well uh, but we'll see about that for now in sectors uh, this is actually the deck I took to uh, last year's nationals when uh, you had uh, Murmel as the best deck, Firefist, uh, was, uh, which was really good back then, uh, Spellbook, which was the thing, Girgia, Evil Swarm, but I thought it was a pretty solid uh, meta, meta pick uh, last year, with uh, pretty much had a lot of good matchups, except for Murmel, which was really bad uh, of a matchup back then, but I took that risk, uh, lost to uh, Murmel twice in that tournament, to the eventual winner of, uh, of our nationals, uh, the, round one and the uh, top eight I lost to him uh, he played Mermels but um, yeah overall I really like the, uh, really like the deck this is one of my favorite decks of all time anyway I played it since the very first day it came out and uh, yeah if, if you're if you know how to play this deck it's a really good deck and you can pretty much uh, win most of the time the only problem I have with uh, this deck right now is uh, the matchups. Uh, Gergia, of course, is a really good matchup. Artifact, not so much. Uh, uh, the hands being played and everything is kind of a problem as well. And the side which uh, people are having right now with Macrocosmos being in pretty much every side uh, which can support it. Um, but beside that, it's, it's, it's just a really good deck. So without further ado, let's get into the profile. Of course, you have your one Hornet. He is at one, so you can only play one. Uh, your popper of the deck. Triple Centipede, your motor. Your engine of the deck. Uh, pretty much the best card in the deck. Uh, and pretty much everyone realized that as soon as Dragonfly got hit to one, this, uh, that this actually was the best card in the deck all of the time. Um, your one Dragonfly. And then I play Triple Ladybug. Um, I have played this at two in the past, uh, but yeah, I just I feel like you really need three of this. And to round up the Insectors, one Gigamantis, of course, for your OTKs, and uh, it's just has some great synergy with the rest of the Insectors. So that's it for the Insectors. Then you have your warm uh, one Dark Arm Dragon. I've seen some Insector builds cutting this, but. It's so easy to get this guy alive, and it wins you so many matches. It's just such a great card. Um, I feel like you should play it. If you're playing in Sector, you should play Dark on Dragon. Then, some new support. Triple Mathematician. Really good card. Uh, I've tested Creep Bandit as well, but I don't like the random milling uh, right now. Of course, uh, I played Card Trooper in the past. Um, on my last year's nationals, I played the Summoner Monk, so two Summoner Monk and one Armageddon Knight. Engine, if you open with that, you could uh, go into Lavovel Chain. Armageddon Knight would ditch uh, Hornet, and you can make Lavovel Chain to stack Dragonfly really good. But this guy is just amazing. Normal summon him, um, send Hornet to your grave, uh, send P to your grave if you already have a Hornet and have a Soul Charge or something. Um, send Ladybug to your grave, really good. And of course, uh, if he gets destroyed, you get to draw a card. Um, Dragons of Legends, really like the support of this card for this deck, um, so I play him at 3. Then the last two monsters is 2 Max C, which has synergy uh, with Insect Imitation, which I run. You can uh, Max C Insect Imitation into Dragonfly, and, and if you already have a Ladybug or something, or of course, it would be better if you can go Ladybug Insect Imitation into Dragonfly, then you can make it rank 4 or rank 5 right away. But uh, this is also a target to get in Centipede or Dragonfly. And of course, uh, just a really important hand trap right now with, uh, with how the meta is, so to Maxi in the main deck. Then for the spells, to Ripple Upstart along with Triple Pot of Duality. Um, really good for consistency. Um, I actually played Triple Reckless as well because I feel like if you're going to play in Sector right now, you need to have the uh, Turbo uh, thing going on. Um, so yeah, because you, ne you need to get your combo pieces as soon as possible. Three pot of duality and three upstart. 
In past, I actually run Card Cardia as well because Card Cardia also works with Insect Imitation, but I cut a uh, Card Cardia out for the Mathematician mostly. Uh, triple Mystical Space Typhoon, uh, just too good in insectors. If worse comes to worse, you can just MST your own Ladybugs or Hornets when they're equipped uh, to get some pluses of your. Uh, you, you could actually summon a Dragonfly, equip, uh, let's say, Centipede to it, MSD to Centipede, and then you can special summon out a Centipede to go into rank 3 if you, if, you, if you really need to do something like that. But just MSD is just really good. Of course, MSD and a Gigamantis or something. Um, then, two Soul Charge. Also, a really good uh, card for this deck. Because this pretty much works like a Monster Reborn. You're going to be needing to just bring back one card pretty much all of the time. Uh, one centipede, one dragonfly, and that gets your whole combo going. Um, you can soul charge for centipede, uh, flash summon centipede, equip hornet or ladybug. Centipede gets its effect, then you can search your dragonfly, normal summon your dragonfly after you activated your soul charge. It's just it's ridiculous to soul charge, just too good in this deck. Uh, then I play one sect caliber. I've been playing two of this my entire life. But I saw a lot of um, the Insector decks that actually did well uh, recently only play one, so I tried just uh, to run the one. Because most of your bad hands are if you open with this. You won't, uh, Normally speaking you want to search it out of your deck. And I absolutely loved uh, just the one of this. So um, if you think two is the right number to go, um, test it at the one first. Because like I said, I thought two was the, the right number as well. Um, I figured out it isn't. One one is really the way to go. So, um, yeah. One sec caliber. Book of Moon. Uh, one of the best defensive cards. Really good. The Foolish, of course, for Ladybug or uh, Hornet. Or if you already have those, you can Foolish Burial. Uh, like Dragonfly, Soul Charge, Dragonfly back. It's just too good not to play. Then one Lance. Uh, I've already... Uh, I've always played one Lance in this deck. Um, Recently, I tried the two, but uh, and, and then I only had two ladybugs. But I figured ladybug was a better card for me than the second lance, uh, lance. So I caught one lance, added one, added in the third ladybug, uh, and one lance, one lance does the trick, because um, the cards being played right now, the really the only card you're going to hit is Bolomus Trap Hole. Uh, you want to when centipede get Bolomus, you want to have your lance. It's pretty much the only time you really need the lance. So uh, yeah, one lance is fine for me. And then, like I said, the one insect imitation uh, is just in there for the unfair plays with uh, Ladybug going into Dragonfly. Um, yeah, just if you have it, it's really good. Uh, but I don't play Hopper anymore. I feel like Hopper is um, not good enough to run anymore. So you can't go uh, Centipede into Hopper or something, which uh, in the past, or let's say Hornet into Hopper. I uh, did that in the past. But in the past I was playing two insect imitation as well, so I caught one insect imitation. But I really wanted to keep the one in. That's it for the spells. For the traps, like I said, the triple reckless greed. Uh, just to turbo through your deck, really important in this uh, deck. In general, I really don't like reckless, but yeah, uh, in this you have to run it. Then the four staple traps, uh, bottomless. Warning, Tarantula and Compulse. Compulse really good, of course. Um, if your Centipede gets Bolomus and you already have your Compulse set, you can Compulse your Centipede in your hand. Uh, it's just... Uh, yeah, it's, it has some cool tricks with uh, Insectors. And then last to Wabaku. Uh, in the past I played uh, Threatening Roar over uh, Wabaku. But uh, Wabaku actually is better. Uh, what you can do first turn is you can... Let's see... You can set your Centipede instead of normal summoning, because then uh, it can get Balmost. Now, what, what you, uh, when you flip some this, it could, uh, let's see, like this. If you flip some it, it could still get Balmost. But if you set this, and your opponent rams into it with, uh, let's say, uh, one of the hands, because that's probably what, what you're going to do if you have this set. You can activate the Wobbaku, then this gets flipped up. So in your turn, all you have to do is switch it to attack position to get your stuff going. You know, let's say if you have uh, like a mathematician as well in your hand, almost some of the mathematician, then you can ditch the Hornet uh, and Centipede can go off. So Wabaku is uh, mainly for that reason, it's just better than um, Threatening Roar right now. And of course, normally a Wabaku would be a minus one, but in this, uh, in Insectors you make so much pluses, it's, uh, a minus one is really relative in this deck. So two Wabaku, that's it for the main decks, 40 cards in total as always. Then for the extra you have Gaia Charger for um, Foxhorse, of course. Zenmeo, 
uh, Terrace, Access Tag. I think I am playing 16 cards in the extra deck right now. Let's see. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14. Oh, no, just 15 cards. All right. Um, Access Tag is really good. Um, yeah, it's, it can be a really unfair card against uh, certain matchups. Really good. One access deck. Uh, Focus Source. Yeah, you know what that does. It's just broken. Uh, Shark uh, Fortress for the OTKs. Love Oval Chain. Um, still, you can go. Uh, uh, let's say you go Insect Imitation. You can go Insect Imitation, Ladybug. Get your Dragonfly, Dragonfly. Uh, equip Ladybug. Um, gain one level. So, Dragonfly is now level 4. Then you're going to Special Summon out. Your uh, centipede, centipede's gain one level. And you can search out another centipede, and then overlay the level chain to ditch the hornet instead of uh, you needing to search the hornet and leaving your insectors on the field. So yeah, this is the level chain, of course, a really first on this deck. Uh, Axiton, on an arc, as well a really good card right now. Uh, Leviathan, one of uh, uh, one of the better cards in your extra deck, being able to just uh, detach um, mo what might be a hornet or something. Uh, it's really good. Lavier, of course, to get back your Hornet if it gets uh, faded or something, Spellbook of Faith, or banished in any other way. Uh, Giga Brilliant, also uh, for OTK. Acid Golem and Mega Equipped Engineer. Um, good card to protect itself. Then we have some tokens, so that's it for the extra deck. For the side, uh, third Maxi, two Fire, two Ice. Um, I didn't run, uh, run these in the beginning in this deck, but um, they actually help uh, with some difficult uh, matchups. Um, they give some, uh, yeah, they give, they give you some more time in, in certain situations. They thin your deck even more. As, yeah, it's, they're just uh, really good inside, in my opinion, for this deck. One-dimensional fissure, uh, of course, when you uh, have uh, your insectors with a insector equipped. So let's say Ladybug and Hornet. Hornet and Ladybug are accounted as spells at that point, so they go to the grave, not to the Banish Zone. So, Dimensional Fission can easily side this in in sectors. Two Messenger of Peace, mostly for um, Bujins. Bujins have a really hard uh, hard time attacking when uh, you can support a Messenger of Peace. And it's good against some other matchups. Um, if you're going to see a random Fire matchup, it's good against Fire, Fire Fist, or I guess against Fire King as well. And. Uh, yeah, I've always really liked Messenger of Peace. Uh, I've been citing this pretty much since the deck came out in Insectors. Uh, that's it for Spell Straps, Soul Drain, Triple Debunk, because that's needed right now. The one Black Horn of Heaven, and the two Rivalry. Of course, your, uh, most of your main deck are Insectors. Um, or Insectors, yeah. Insects. Um, you have your Mathematician, which is the Spellcaster, and you have Dark Arm Dragon, which is Dragon, of course. But the rest of your main deck, at least, is insects. So, um, yeah, you can easily support it. It's really good against Madolce. It's a really good card against them. So, uh, rivalry in the side. So, that's it for the deck. Uh, like I said, 40 cards, insectors. One of my favorite decks of all time. In the comment section down below, let me know what you think of this deck. Um, is this the deck I should take to my regional? Um, watch out for... Uh, the next video which is probably going to be Sylvan's but I might add something uh, different in this series as well we'll see and yeah that's it see you with the next video bye